Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking again about iOS 14.5, one of the biggest updates to iOS 14 since its initial release. It packs a ton of new features and changes. Now, of course, a lot of them are known, but there are a lot of hidden features that you will find on iOS 14.5. So in this video, I will show you guys the top 10 hidden features that you can find on this new update. Now, before we get into the video, I want to ask you guys for a quick favor make sure to leave a like on this video as it helps out a lot for this video to do much better and of course for the channel to do much much better so let's get started here are the top 10 hidden features of the new ios 14.5 all right, starting things off with the podcast app. Apple has just updated the podcast app with a ton of new features and changes. Of course, some of them you might not notice. So here, if we go to a podcast here, you can see that you will find all the different episodes, but you will find here gestures that are hidden. If you swipe like this, you can see now you can delete an episode or you can save it for later here so you will have two different buttons there you can see the episode has now been saved or you can just delete it from there just by simply swiping like this all the way or just tapping the button right there you can also swipe from the left to the right and you will get here a new button which actually marks this episode as played so you can see we have seven minutes left here but if i just tap right there this will be marked as played so if you use the podcast app you will find these hidden features and of course a ton of other new features that apple has added to the podcast like the ability here to just go ahead and browse different topics and of course different genres of podcasts there is a pretty cool hidden feature within the translate app as well as you probably know with ios 14 apple has added a new app to translate on ios so if we just translate something here so let's just try it out so let's just translate hello you can see if we do this we will get a button here of course to play and it will just speak the word in the language that you translate but on ios 14.5 you can tap and hold there and you can change the speed at which it will play now this will be very useful if you have a longer text that you have translated and you want to listen to it maybe you want to listen to it slower you will have the ability here so you can see the first one will play it faster and then you have the normal speed then you have three by four and one by two right there so you want to play it slower just tap right here and everything will be played on half the speed on ios 14.5 apple has added a new thing on the shortcuts app now you have the ability to create a shortcut to toggle on or off the orientation lock which is in my opinion is very very useful of course if you combine it with other ios 14 features so if we just go ahead here and tap on add action we can actually just go ahead and search here for orientation so let's just choose here orientation so here we have set orientation now what you can do here is tap on toggle basically if you just choose toggle here this same shortcut will toggle it on or off based on its current state or you can just tap right there and choose turn and then you can choose whether you want to use that shortcut to turn it on or off so let's just use toggle for now click right there name the shortcut I'll just name it like that now the cool thing is that you can actually combine this with the other feature of ios 14 like back tap and you can do a lot of things with this i will have a video dedicated to these kind of things and all the cool things that you can do with these new shortcuts they're pretty cool actually so if we go to touch here and actually go to back tap you can see that if we use double tap or triple tap to invoke that shortcut then we will be able to turn on or off orientation lock simply by double tapping or triple tapping on the back of the iphone another shortcut that apple has added to ios 14.5 is the ability to take screenshots using the shortcut now that's not that useful as the orientation lock one because it's pretty simple to take a screenshot of course with the buttons but you can do more with it what you can do here is actually maybe create a shortcut here to take a screenshot so let's just search for screenshot So here we have take a screenshot now what you can do here is actually set up this shortcut to save the screenshot on any album that you want if we tap the plus button we can search for album here search for album 
and right here we have save to album so you can see save screenshot to album and you can choose whichever album that you have on your device and then when you take a screenshot with this shortcut it will actually save it to that exact album now you can of course use this with double tap or triple tap as well so maybe you have double tap just for a simple scroll screenshot and you have triple tap for a screenshot that you want to save to a certain album maybe things like for your school or something like that you can see i take a screenshot right here it will actually take the screenshot and save it to the album that we just set up a Bluetooth feature that Apple has added to iOS 14 earlier, but then it was removed. Now it has made its comeback on iOS 14.5, the ability to set Bluetooth device type. Now, if you go to one of your devices that you have here, so let's go to the core Bluetooth right here. You can see we have device type right there and we can help basically iOS know with what kind of device this is. And you can see what it says here, specifying the type of the device will ensure that headphone audio level measurements are accurate so based on this it will more accurately have basically your headphone audio level so you can choose here in this case i can choose car stereo and help ios more accurately send our, our audio level measurements not just the podcast app has gotten some really cool swipe features the music app has that too so if you go to your library you can now swipe like this to delete any of your songs so it's that simple just swipe tap right there or just swipe all the way to actually will heal hear a vibration there to actually delete any song you want or you can swipe the other way and you can basically add this song to the queue for up next or up later so just right there you tap and you can see playing next or you can tap right there to playing last that's pretty cool so very cool having these gestures and quickly performing these three different actions as you probably know ios 14.5 brings the new privacy feature which will basically show you any app that is trying to track you and will give you the option to actually stop that app from tracking you now you will find those on any app that wants to track you, you will get basically a pop-up asking you if you want to allow that app to track you or not but what you can do is also go to settings go to privacy and right here we'll find tracking if you go to tracking you will find here a list of all the apps that have requested to track you and right here you can turn them on or off so if you just decide you want to allow an app later on to track you you can enable it from here or if you have allowed an app to track you and you don't want to do that anymore you can come here and turn it off there is a cool new feature that apple has added to the reminders app this actually is very useful i don't know if why we didn't have this before but if you go to reminders now you will have the ability to tap right there and sort your reminder so if you tap sort by you can see here you have the due date creation date priority or title or you can leave it on manual and of course just manually adjust your reminders and just actually sort them any way you like but again you will have here the option to now go ahead and just sort your reminders with iOS 14.5, there are a lot of updates on Siri as well. One of them allows you to choose from four different voices for Siri. So to do that, you will need to go to your settings, go to Siri and search and go to Siri voices. So you can see right now, we choose right there, basically the variety. And from here, you will choose the voice. You will have four different voices, which will also show on the setup of the iPhone when you set up Siri. Now you can see right here we have four different voices and based on any one that you want to use, iOS will automatically download that voice for you and then keep using that voice. You know, on iOS 14, we have headphone notifications. Basically, if you're listening to your headphones and your sound is loud for a long time, it will send you notifications, of course, to protect your hearing. Now, you will get that on the Apple Watch as well. If you have an Apple Watch, you will go to the Watch app. And from here, what you need to do is go to Sounds and Haptics and you will find here headphone safety. If you go here, you can enable headphone notifications and it will basically your apple watch will measure the phone headphone audio level and will give you actually notifications of course always to protect your hearing so that's basically it for this video guys these are 10 hidden features that you will be able to find on the new ios 14.5 which again is an amazing update a lot of new features and changes so that's basically it thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one